What have we done so far? We created a users table in the database and wrote a user model that we can use to read and write to this table. In this section, we'll create a signup page so that we can take in user data and save it to the database. In this particular video, we'll install Flask WTF. Here's how everything will fit together. First, a user will visit the URL signup to create a new account. The page will be retrieved through an HTTP GET request and will load in the browser. Second, the signup page will have fields for a user's name, email, and password. The user will fill out the form and press sign up. Third, when a user presses sign up, the form will submit to the Flask app through a POST request and will hit routes.py. Fourth, in routes.py, a function will check whether the submitted data is valid. This means checking whether all fields are filled out, whether the email looks like a real email address, and whether the password is longer than six characters. Fifth, if any of the submitted data does not pass validation, the signup page will load again with helpful error messages so that the user can try again. Otherwise, if all fields are valid, we'll save the user's credentials to the database. The user will be signed in and redirected to the home page. We're going to use the signup form to take in a user's data and save it to the database. Now, how do we actually write this form? Remember in the previous section, we saw that instead of packing in extra functionality, Flask lets you add it on as needed using extensions. An extension is a package that adds a specific functionality to a Flask app. To add functionality for web forms, we'll use Flask WTF. Flask WTF lets us define forms in Python so we don't need to mess around too much with the HTML. To install Flask WTF, we'll use the same sequence of commands as we did when adding Flask SQL Alchemy. First, get back into the app's isolated Python development environment. Next, use pip to install Flask WTF. Now that Flask WTF is installed, let's use it to create a form in the next video.